but 11 doctors at Tampa General Hospital are monitoring several patients who have flu-like symptoms. Our Isabel Rosales reports on the growing concern that they could actually have the coronavirus. It's important to note that no patients have been diagnosed with the coronavirus. The hospital tells us it is working with these patients to wear masks and alert the hospital prior to their arrival. Another alarming spike in the number of cases of that coronavirus, now known as COVID-19. It's sick in more than 45,000 people, mostly in China, with the death toll topping 1,100. The World Health Organization saying the virus could have a catastrophic impact on the world. The virus can have more powerful consequences than any terrorist action. On this quarantine cruise ship off the coast of Yokohama, Japan, dozens more passengers sickened with the virus, bringing the total to more than 170, the largest cluster of cases outside of mainland China. It's more challenging. As each day progresses, we are having uh, additional people tested positive. And celebration on this Holland America cruise ship after leaving Hong Kong February 1st. It was turned away from at least five ports despite having no reported cases of COVID-19. Now, with 2,200 people on board, the ship finally being allowed to dock in Cambodia. In the U.S., 14 people have been infected, including a woman who was one of 800 evacuated from the epicenter of the epidemic in Wuhan, China. Soon after arriving at the Marine Corps Air Station in San Diego, she showed symptoms and was hospitalized. Following a mix-up with her results, she was mistakenly told she tested negative, discharged, and allowed to return to the base. She's now been readmitted to the hospital. Back here at home, Tampa General is working with the Florida Department of Health and with infectious disease experts over at USF. Tampa General says it is prepared and is following all protocols related to treating patients possibly exposed to the coronavirus. In Tampa, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.